Hi guys, welcome. I am working with the I Heart You January 2022 box of the month from Not Too Shabby today. And I have a quick and easy project that really showcases the paper stamps and some of the ephemera. So I'm starting here with the 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I'm just folding its cardstock and I'm folding it in half one way and then in half the other way. So you're basically making like a little four square grid. And then I'm going to trim off one square. It doesn't matter which square. And I'm going kind of on the, just to the outside of the, of the score line of the square that I'm trimming off. Just so that, you know, the score line is completely gone from the remaining parts to my, of my cardstock. So then it folds up into, I call it a card. Um, this project was inspired by Amber over at Lyric Lover Crafts and she treated it as a little mini album and I like to market mine as a photo card. I just think it's a fun way that you can add some photos and still send somebody some wishes. And this project works great for six by six paper because you don't have to trim much off. Since my squares are six by six on the cardstock, I'm trimming all of my pattern paper down to five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths, just so that it's going to leave a little bit of the gray border around all of the patterns. And obviously the I Heart You kit is a Valentine's theme kit. So this photo card is like a love, doesn't necessarily have to be Valentine's, but kind of more of a love themed card. And I love all these cute patterns, the bright reds, whites, blacks, and then the grays. So now I'm just going to figure out how I want to arrange my patterns on my card and I'm trying to mix like some of the reds and grays and I really wanted I knew I wanted that gray background print on the front what would be the front of my card but I wasn't sure you know how else I wanted to lay the other patterns out with the card and you did see me go in with a corner rounder to round all of the outside corners of the cardstock base. And you don't have to do that. I just, I think it gives it just a little fun twist, um, but you can certainly leave them, you know, as normal corners. But because I rounded the corners of the cardstock, I'm going to round the same corners on my pattern paper mat or my pattern papers. And I do have to trim a few of the pattern papers down just a little bit more since I had trimmed off that score line on two of those sides when I cut that one square off of the the card base there. So that's what I'm doing here is just rounding the corners and making sure all of the pattern papers are going to fit with a about an eighth inch border around. And then it's just time to adhere them. I'm using score tape. You could totally use wet glue. I just didn't think about it. I just grabbed my score tape and I'm just adding the score tape to the back of my pattern paper and then I will apply that pattern paper panel onto my cardstock base. And this is thick enough paper, like I said, so you could totally use wet glue here as well, like a strong wet glue. Pulling off the backing to the tape and I will just stick that down on the very front of what would be my photo card. So I'm going to go ahead and continue doing the same thing for all the other papers and not make you watch me apply the tape and remove the backing. So I have one panel left to adhere and I'm going to create a pocket on this page. And I pulled out a scrap of that red gingham pattern and it was like perfect size, like three inches is how high I wanted my pocket anyway. So I'm gonna trim it down just a little bit and I rounded that bottom right corner just like on my pattern paper background. And here I am gonna use some wet glue to go around the edge of it for my pocket just so that uh, once it dries, it dries like there won't be any sticky residue left that would interfere with anything going into that pocket. So I'm gonna burnish that down and then I'm going to use some more score tape to adhere to the back of this panel. And like I said, this is a great project to really showcase the pattern papers. I don't do a whole lot of decorating in here, so the, the pattern papers really do get to shine. 
and then you'll see that I do embellish with some of the ephemera and then some of the stamped images so I love I love making these they're like I said they're quick and easy and then I love to play with paper so this is like right up my alley okay all of my panels are down and now I get to start decorating I pulled out the just a note stamp set and I knew I wanted to use a piece of ephemera on the front of the album and I was trying to figure out a way that I could kind of work it in and so I figured that one of these bottles would look great on the front so I went ahead and stamped it on some gray cardstock and then fussy cut it out and then backed it on a white scallop circle just so it would stand out from the gray pattern paper and then as I sat it on there I realized I wanted a pop of red too so I pulled out a scrap of the slimline pad and so just left it as it was it was the perfect size and then used that kind of at the bottom to ground my my circle there my stitch circle so this is the piece of ephemera that I had chose to use it says you and me and it's like a little sign that was hanging and so I figured I could make it look like it was hanging on the front of that bottle And that's all I'm going to do to the front. And then on the inside, like I said, I'm not going to do a whole lot, but I do want to use some more of the ephemera pieces. And then I want to leave room for pictures. And I'm not using photo mats on here. I, I just feel that not sometimes it's good to use photo mats and then sometimes I like to not use photo mats and give people freedom to use different size pictures or place them however they want them and again I didn't want to cover the awesome paper so that's always a struggle for me sometimes when I'm making mini albums but here I'm combining two of the ephemera pieces up here on that top panel on the bottom left corner of it and then I'm gonna move down here to the rows patterned paper and I pulled out the sentiment you have my heart from the stamp set and I'm just going to trim that down into a fishtail banner, fish banner and layer it with the gray. So this box was released on January 1st and you can access it through the website. You can either do a one-time purchase or sign up for a subscription and I do know the boxes tend to sell out fast so um, the best way would be to sign up for a subscription. So even if you do miss this box, you would be able to for sure get the February box. I'm just adhering these down with some art glitter glue. And then all of these panels are done. So I also stamped that me and you on some gray cardstock scrap and I'm just going to trim both sides into fishtails and then I'm going to use this on I'm going to turn over my card base there and I'm going to use this on the back side wasn't sure which pattern I thought it was going to look good on so I ended up going gray on that white and gray background with the tiny hearts and then I have one panel left to decorate and I thought that that envelope ephemera piece was big enough that maybe I could use it as a tuck spot and I had also stamped out this love that I hadn't used yet and so I decided to fussy cut it and add it on top of that envelope and then again I'm just going to glue kind of the the right hand side and the bottom side of the envelope and then it will just create a tuck spot so a photo can still be glued down but will be glued down behind it. So the last thing I'm adding is I'm taking a full sheet from that slimline pad and just cutting it in half. So now it's four and a half inches tall and I'm just tucking them into that pocket so you can add photos there as well or journal on the back. So that's my project for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're all having a very crafty day.